What's up, Razman? I got the Razman here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new feature inside Adobe Audition that eliminates a problem that any radio show or podcast host will tell you is a common one. This is a brand new feature inside the latest version of Adobe Audition CS6, and that is when trying to create an ID or drop, any host will tell you that it's problematic when you want to put music into it because the music levels always overshadow the levels of your voiceover and you spend hours trying to balance out between the two. So thanks to Adobe Audition CS6's brand new feature, this is no longer a problem. And today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do. As a time saver today, I've preloaded and recorded all audio that we're going to be using so that we can just jump straight into the process but quickly let me address why you see Waypad audio recorder on my screen. I've had all kinds of problems getting the audio and video to sync up from Camtasia Studio lately so I'm using the Wave audio recorder to create a backup of this audio as well as telling it to render the audio separately so one way or another I should be able to get this tutor tutorial done. So the last thing that I loaded was the music. So my first step here is to go into my raw voiceover track and go into insert into multi-track new multi-track session. From here we want to name the multi-track session exactly what we want the file to be called. So in my case, I'm going to name it 1 file being the ID 1 here RMR for Asmin's Reality of course ID me because I was the one to record this one. Now from here, you're going to notice a brand new menu, which is your template screen. This is a new feature that Adobe Audition CS6 has added that previous versions of Audition did not. What we're going to be utilizing today is the template called Radio VO with Music Ducking, which stands for Radio VoiceOver with Music Ducking. As you can see, I've already pre-selected it, but in case it wasn't, all you need to do is click the drop-down menu and select it. So we're going to click OK. As you can see, once we've done that, it automatically dropped my voice over into a track appropriately entitled VoiceOver, so that I know it's in the correct position. So now, all I need to do is pull in the music that we're going to be using today. The music that we're going to be using today is a piece of royalty-free music entitled Throwdown, downloaded from audionautics.com, courtesy of Jason Shaw. Okay. So now that our music has been loaded into the music track, you'll notice that it's far too long for what we actually need it for. So in order to compensate for this, all we have to do is move forward into our track. Oops, sorry, I hit the fast forward button rather than move to the point one that I needed to hit. So as you can see, once I hit the correct button, it took me directly forward to the point to where my first track ended. So now all I need to do is to split the clip. For me, I've changed this to S because it's much more natural for me to hit S when splitting a clip. When I think of split, I think of the letter S. If you're still on the default keyboard shortcuts for Adobe Audition, you're going to want to hit Alt plus K. So we split the clip then simply right click into the music that we don't need and delete. Now we're going to go back to the beginning of our timeline and our next step is to broadcast levelize my voiceover. So to do that I'm going to click into the voiceover track again 
and show you the same thing I showed you previously. Effects, amplitude and compression, multiband compressor. When doing this inside a multi-track session, it looks a little bit different because it's going to tell you exactly where the effect has been applied to. In our case, it's track voiceover slot 1. So, since this is a multi-track session, the effect has already been applied, so we don't need to do anything but X out. And now, to test to make sure we've done the multi-track correctly, we play it back. You're listening to the Rise Man's Reality Radio Show One Year Anniversary Special, brought to you by Geeky.com, when it's just not geeky enough, on Audio Graded and Channel 107. So as you can see, it's done exactly what we want it to do. So our next step is to actually save the file. In multi-track recording, this is done in two steps. The first is multi-track, mix down session to new file, entire session. The second is to save the actual file. So to do that, of course it's file and save. From here, I need to do two things. One is that I need to change the default format from WAVE to MP3. The reason for this is that I use Sam Broadcaster 4 in order to broadcast the radio show, so I need it to be MP3 format in order to work properly. If you have the means to save your audio in WAV format, I recommend doing so as it's slightly better sound quality. But in my case, of course, I'm going to go into my drop down menu and go to MP3 audio. The second thing is the audition template defaults your stereo sound to 16 bit. Since you all know from the previous tutorial that it's a personal preference of mine to use 32 bit audio, I'm going to change that over as well. If I can figure out an effective way to do so, a future tutorial will show you why I prefer the difference in bit depth. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And now click OK again to save the actual file. Now in order to demonstrate that our file has been properly saved and recorded, we'll exit out of Audition. It's going to ask me if I want to make any changes, or save the changes, sorry, that I made to my raw audio recording. I don't need to do that now that the ID has been made, so I say no to all. Then I'm going to open my master's folder, find my new ID, which is right here, right click, and play. You're listening to the Rise Man's Reality Radio Show One Year Anniversary Special, brought to you by Geeky.com, when it's just not geeky enough, on Audio Graded and Channel 107. So there you have it, a perfectly balanced ID with music that does not overshadow your voiceover levels. A beautiful new feature included in the latest version of Adobe Audition CS6. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any other feature tutorial requests, make sure you leave them in the comment box down below or contact me by whatever means you wish, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. This is reality according to the Razman, and Razman style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.